This kind of limitation. Vascular access is a very important thing during TAVI procedure. As we know, transfemoral TAVI is the most commonly used approach. There is no need for surgical uh, preparation. We can perform this procedure under local anesthesia. And in this session, we will uh, highlight the importance of optimal vascular access and closure in TAVI patients. First of all, as we said, CT assessment gives us all the important information regarding vessel size and diameter, tortuosity of the vessel, common femoral artery and the iliac arteries, the degree and the location of calcification, and the bifurcation height. We have to examine each vessel, the right and the left side, separately in order to decide uh, for the best uh, access. And some possible problems could be the small diameter of the vessels, less than uh, 5 millimeters, circular calcification, especially in the anterior wall of the vessel, and if we have a tortuosity plus calcification. How we can solve these uh, problems? In case of a small diameter, less than 5 millimeters, we can uh, proceed for a POBA, for a balloon angioplasty, or to use intravascular lithotripsy. If we have a severe tortuosity, we can handle uh, this problem uh, with uh, stiffer guide wires like uh, Landerquist or a backup Meyer. But uh, if we have an extremal calcification, it's better to consider for a surgical repair or for another access. Uh, in order to make the perfect puncture, is, uh, a good choice is to use either a fluoroscopy or a roadmap or uh, an echo-guided uh, puncture. Let's start with the echo-guided access. Uh, first of all, we have to distinguish the artery from, uh, from the vein. Okay. Um, by compression, the probe, veins we know that are more compressible than pulseless vessels. We go down with the probe to determine the profunda and the superficial artery in order to locate the exact uh, bifurcation of the common femoral artery. We turn the probe in the longitudinal view, as you can see down, and we search for the perfect uh, target zone. And the perfect puncture should be at the superficial side of the vessel, and we have to avoid uh, the zone that the vessel dives into the body. So let's see a video. We start uh, in the longitudinal axis. We rotate the probe to the short axis view. Here we can uh, see better the anterior wall of the, uh, of the artery. And just a small tip is to make the local anesthesia under fluoroscopy, under uh, echo, under echo guidance and to reach the, ad the advantage of the artery because uh, in this way we have uh, more effective anesthesia, uh, the patient is more comfortable, especially if we use only under local anesthesia. And uh, after local anesthesia, we go for the puncture in this uh, view, in the short axis view. Another advice is to use the Pythagorean approach. Is we have to avoid to, make a, to start our puncture too close to the probe and uh, keep the same distance as the distance of the depth uh, in, uh, 45, uh, in the 45 degrees. If we use the fluoro, uh, let's say that uh, we start uh, our puncture in the right side, we have to place a guide DIMA catheter in the contralateral artery. We advance and a grand slam uh, guide wire three meters or an iron man. This is our safety guide wire and uh, it serves as a marker. And we make our puncture using this fluoro, targeting the mid femoral head and the marker, uh, and we mark uh, the, the guide wire uh, that we have placed before. Our advice is to make all the puncture under echo because uh, using echo we have less vascular complications. To move on closure devices, uh, there are different ways to achieve hemostasis to the vessel. We use ProGlide or Manta in daily practice. And few words for these uh, closure devices. ProGlide can close arteriotomies up to 21 French, but we have to use it in two steps. At the beginning of the procedure to make the pre-close technique and at the end of the procedure uh, to make the management of the sutures. Uh, this is a suture-based uh, technique with the ProGlide. Otherwise, the Manta can close arteriotomies up to 22 French and we use it at the end of the procedure. And it's a collagen-based device. Few words about the ProGlide. Step one is to open the foot, 
into the vessel. Step two, we bring down the needles. Step three, we deploy the suture. And step four, we close the foot and we bring back uh, the device. Just a video, this is the beginning of our procedure. We pull back the guide wire, we keep the 45 degrees, and we advance the ProGlide. It's very simple, the technique. When, the bleed, uh, when, the, when we have uh, back bleed, we rotate the lever, we pull back the device, we break down the suture, and we cut it, as you can see here. We close the foot inside the vessel, and we bring back the device. Afterwards, we pull back, and we take uh, these two sutures ends. It is one suture with two sutures ends. We bring them together with a clamp, and we can continue with a second uh, ProGlide. This technique is at the beginning of our procedure. And if we use a rotation of the ProGlide at 10 o'clock and at 2 o'clock, we end up with a crossed uh, suture, as you can see in the right side of the picture. But our recommendation is to make a parallel suture technique. We don't have to rotate the, the ProGlides at the beginning. And with a parallel suture technique, uh, we have uh, less number of vascular complications. At the end of the procedure, uh, we have uh, to manage uh, the sutures. As you can see, uh, we recommend to do this with two operators. The one operator manages the suture, and the, other, the second operator uh, brings pullbacks the large bore uh, sheath. And using a device, the knot pusher, we push down the knot in order to close uh, the arteriotomy. And we repeat this several times with the one suture and the other. We keep uh, the guide wire for safety reasons at the first. And if hemostasis is achieved, we pull back the guide wire. We repeat this procedure, and we cut uh, the suture, as you can see uh, here. If ProGlide device fails, we have uh, some steps to, to make. We can use an angioseal uh, or a Manta device. If this fails, we have to uh, proceed with a balloon inflation and manual compression, or to use a cover stand and a Mar Armanda, or to go for a surgical repair. Manta device is uh, another technique, a collagen-based technique. It's very simple. We use the Manta at the end of the procedure. We remove the large bore sheath. We introduce the manta, the manta seat, we remove the introducer, we keep the guide wire always in place. It's like to use a big angiosil, and we proceed with the manta device. Uh, here we listen the first click, and uh, you can see that uh, we pull back the whole device. We have calculated the deployment depth at the beginning, and we rotate the blue lever. And in this way, we release the anchor inside the vessel. We pull back. There is a green and white, a green and yellow indicator. And pull, pulling back the closure device, we release the collagen. And in this way, the arteriotomy is closed. And we, there is a tool uh, that we advance it to lock uh, the collagen in the outer wall of the vessel. If Manda fails, we don't have uh, many things to do. Uh, bailout strategies is balloon inflation, manual compression, covered stand or surgical repair. Choice closure uh, study showed that Manta was associated with higher rate of vascular complications, such as hematoma, pseudoaneurysm, but we had the shorter time to hemostasis compared to ProGlide. ProGlide had uh, uh, many uh, devices failures. And which technique? is better, ProGlide or Manta. Uh, at your intervention, a multi-close algorithm was published uh, recently, which says that uh, we have to start always with uh, one ProGlide. At the, at the end uh, of our procedure, we remove the large bore introducer, and we insert a six or eight French sheath in order to make a small contrast with five ml of uh, contrast, and we check it. 
If there is no extravasation, we can close the arteriotomy uh, with one uh, per closed device or to use an angiosil. If we have a mild or moderate extravasation, we can close, we can use a second uh, proglide. But if there is a severe extravasation, it's better to use a manta. Using this algorithm, uh, major vascular complications were less than 1%. In conclusion, I have to say that as we said before, CT is very uh, useful and the fundamental tool for planning TAVI procedure, especially the vascular access. We have to use ECHO for uh, having less vascular complications. We have to know to manage vascular complications and closure devices are essential for hemostasis and TAVI excellent outcomes. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you Dr. Colivira's very nice presentation and very informative. Any comments or questions from the panelists? or from the audience. Uh, some, some interventionalists used uh, for the beginning to proclide and want Igeosil. Do, do you have any comments about the any experience for this? Uh, yes, but uh, as we saw no, in the... Not so, be, so, as a bailout. Mm -hmm. For the beginning used to proclide and want Igeosil. I think that uh, using the multi close algorithm we are safe because if we use two proglides and one angiosil, I don't know if we make a damage into the vessel or a vessel uh, dissection or uh, an occlusion. We don't have to be, um, uh, how we say? So aggressive. So aggressive, yes, in uh, arteriotomy and to check everything at, at the beginning. Any comment? Please. <laughs> Thank you very much for the excellent presentation. Uh, did you try one proglite approach uh, without any calcification? Uh, yes, we have tried, mm -hmm. but I don't think that is a safe uh, procedure to use only one uh, proglite. Yes, but uh, it works, uh, to yes. be honest. It depends on we... the large bore sheath. If we use mm -hmm. a 14 sheath, Yes, but we can close with one proglide, yes. but if you use bigger sheets, yes. 18 French, For the 14 it's not French uh, sheet, uh, for the transcatheter aortic pulse, you know, many of them are uh, working on 14 French sheet. One proglide approach is working, it's safe. working but uh, if there is calcification, uh, be, uh, posterior or medial or lateral, and the angles of the proglide change. Uh, when you use uh, two proglide approach. This is very well um, published by Gilbert Tank. Uh -huh. uh, one is, for example, if the... So the, the place of the calcification is very, very important on CT. Sometimes posterior and medial calcification. Then you put the one proglide at 11 o'clock and 2 o'clock. And if the lateral calcification one to three o'clock, one to the uh, opposite side of the three o'clock. This is a new concept for two pro two proglide approach, but your parallel technique is also very, very important. But in our experience, really, nowadays, in 14 French sheet, we, we sh uh, a lot of people, uh, operators also in Turkey, are using one proglide approach. With one single arterial access or with one, uh, a set? one 14 one French sheet, one proglide at 12 o'clock position. Okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Yes, you are, Dr. Triadafilo. Uh, microphone off. Here, keep it. Just, just a short comment. Congratulations for the presentation. It was complete. For the algorithm with the manta, in order to, if you arrive at the uh, uh, if you arrive at the final uh, salvage by manta, you must have not forgotten to save to store the image of the puncture, because uh, you will be based on that. Mm -hmm. So, okay, you do the echo guided puncture, but you must store the image of the needle at the point of puncture because then you must advance to, to centimeters. Uh, this is a very good comment. Okay. In our daily practice, Just we... Not, do not forget that. Yes, yes. We do the same. We it, use it can save the and day. echo. It can save the day. And uh, beware of uh, arteries, common femorals, with uh, diameter less than six millimeters, because the anchor of the manta can uh, cause obstruction. Okay. Yeah. okay. Just, just 
That's thank you. It. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. So uh, 